How's it going boys? The Trickums here and we're back at it again with another video guy. This one is going to be with the blunderbuss as a matter of fact boys. Yes, we're switching it around. I don't know if some of you have been watching the stream and you guys see me use the blunderbuss every once in a while. I think the blunderbuss still is a wonderful weapon to use with the fire staff. Obviously if used correctly, right? But that's what we're here. We're here to show you guys an efficient way to use the blunderbuss in OPR, small scale PvP and arenas, right? And uh, this is it for the fire staff. We're going to get all of the flamethrower. We're going to get all of the burnout. And well, everything, everything pretty much stays the same as the previous build. As I said before, trial by fire, you only get it if you want to. The only reason I get this ability is because I think it looks nice. And probably in the future we'll get buff. Right now, it's, it's a really bad ability. So if you want to use your last point for watch a burn or for singe, go for it. Is probably going to be better along the road. For the blunderbuss, this is how we're going to look. We're going to get every point over here on the net shot. We're going to be using that net shot from the distance. We're going to get every every point over here on the shrapnel blast. We're going to use it after we hit the enemy with the blast shot or whenever we find an opening, right? And we can hit the enemy right in the face with a basic attack shrapnel blast. We're going to be getting on load because most of the time, we, whenever we use a basic attack, we, we use an ability before. Like we use net shot, basic attack. We use the blast shot, basic attack. Shrino blast, basic attack. You get it. So pretty much the, a good rotation with the blunder boss is ability, basic attack, ability, basic attack. Because that way you do it pretty fast. Sometimes you got to do basic attack, basic attack when the enemy is like running away. But well, you know, situation dictates. Over here, we're going to make our way down to last chance. This is an amazing, an amazing perk. Whenever you go below 50% health, you get that 50% damage reduction for 4 seconds on a 30 second cooldown. So it's a pretty good sheet death right there every time you're about to die. And he has a 30 second cooldown. So that's an amazing, that's an amazing ability. And he has a very short cooldown. We're going to be getting fortifying aggression. And we're going to be getting on the roll as well when you combine these two together with last chance. Uh, you know, you the blunderbuss becomes very, very, very tanky. And we're going to be getting the blast shot over here with the rain. We don't really need lingering flow, that movement speed that we get from it. It's really it's really not that not that necessary for our build because our build is more of like hit and run. And most of the time we burst the enemy uh, from 60 to zero if they are squishy or light users. So we burn them with a the flamethrower. And whenever they're about 60-70% HP, we hit them with a blast shot. We hit them with a basic attack, shrapnel blast. So the rotation for this build is very simple, all right? It's very simple. You're going to start the fight with the net shot. And, and, and for starters, boys, the net shot has an insane wide area, right? It's like, like a 2 meter by 2 meter. You can even send it there and you can still connect on the enemy as you saw right there, right? So always use that net shot, you know, even if you think, even if you think that you're not going to hit it. Go ahead and send it out right there because he has a very, very wide range. You don't have to send it straight on top of the enemy. You can even send it over here and you will still hit with it, right? So yes, you will use the net shot. You, you will come in with a flamethrower. And since they are 50% slow, right? You're going to be burning them with a the flamethrower. You're going to proc that accelerating flamethrower. You're going to be right there sticking with them, doing a lot of damage. And since they are taking this constant damage, more than likely they're going to end up rolling away because, again, they don't want to get this free damage. And whenever they roll away, the moment that they run out of stamina, that is the moment that we've been waiting for, you will be switching to the blunderbuss. You're going to be using that Trinoblast, you know, basic attack, uh, um, 
combination after you use the blast shot. So the moment that they run out of stamina, you switch to the blunderbuss, hit them with the blast shot. Even if you had to run out of stamina to get close to them so you can send that blast shot, it's worth it because now they're going to be on the floor and you're going to unload a, a, a bunch of amounts of damage on them. Although I always prefer for you to not run out of stamina, but sometimes the situation dictates. So once again, boys, it will be like the net shot, right? Fireball, you can come in with a flamethrower. Uh, that is given that the enemy is not that far from you. The moment the enemy runs out of stamina, you hit him with a blast shot. Basic attack, shrapnel blast, basic attacks. Granted, whenever you hit the enemy with a blast shot, they will be sent a little bit away. So usually what I do is I roll forward and then, then I, do the, 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 I do the basic attack, shrapnel blast, all right? Obviously, because the enemy will be flung away. If they don't have a rapier, you can almost destroy them with this combination. If they have a rapier, then it's a little bit harder because they're going to be using the evade, repose, flesh away, and they're going to get a little bit of distance. And whenever you hit them with a the net shot, even though their stamina regeneration is degraded by a lot, they still have the evade, which gives them a little bit of movement speed and gives them stamina. But that is, that is changing on the next patch. So this build will be even stronger. Uh, in the next patch so again net shot you can use uh, the flamethrower if they roll you can see that they're running out of stamina you can send the fireball hit them with a the, with the blast shot right basic attack shrapnel blast basic attack and that will be the full-on basic combination if the enemy it's a little bit far from you because obviously we obviously we're not gonna have the enemy this close all the time let's picture that that is the healer over there right then you kind of come in with a net shot you're gonna roll into the enemy right you're gonna come in with a flamethrower get that get that efficient burn now damage increase with a flamethrower send the fireball at the last second whenever they run out of mana come in i mean stamina come in with a basic attack blast shot you know shrapnel blast combination and that should be that should be enough for you to take the enemies down always try to focus on the squishy targets mainly the healers and the archer musketeers or other mages right it works against everybody but it works very very good against people that are squishy that don't have a lot a lot of health and protections for the blunderbuss like i show you guys i'm using this one over here with keen exhausting net shot and keenly empower the reason i'm using keen right there and is because i want to always have that keenly empower for my shrapnel blast i don't want to leave it to the rng right if I run like a more aggressive, like like I don't know, like an enchanted or or maybe like a like a like a, an attunement, yes, it will be doing a little bit more damage. But the damage that you do with those things is not as big as if you were to have keenly empower and use a basic attack shrapnel blast. Because we can all we can either create with a blast shot or we can create with the first basic attack. And more likely than not, we're going to be able to create with one of those basic attacks, pellets, because every pellet is considered a different basic attack. So if you don't crit with a, with a blast shot, then you will be critting with one of your basic attacks, and then that shrapnel blast will have the full effect of the 15% increased damage, which is more damage than having enchanted or having an attunement. The reason I say this is because we use the blunder boss not to do sustained damage, to be on top of the enemy, always, you know, doing a bunch of damage. No, the main reason we use the blunder boss is to hit him with a net shot, hit him with a blast shot, hit him with one basic attack, try no blast, and maybe send another basic attack in there, right? Which all of that is going to be empowered by the king, the empower. For my fire stab, I'm still using my efficient burn now fire stab because, like I said before, if you're trying to target a healer or somebody that is far away from you, you're gonna hit him with that net shot. You're gonna close the distance with a burn now, pump a lot of damage in with a flamethrower with that efficient burn out, right? Send in the fireball, switch to the blast shot, come in with a basic attack, shrine no blast, basic attack, and do a millions of damage, boys, all right? shit ton of damage right there for my stats i am using uh 265 250 the reason i'm using 50 over here it doesn't really matter uh i'm getting a little bit more damage with a with a with the blunderbuss uh if i i wish i had a intelligence blunderbuss rather than having a strength blunderbuss uh, the 50 strength doesn't increase the damage of the blunderbuss uh, attacks. That's only for melee attacks. I know it doesn't say it there, but it is for melee attacks. I have already tested this. So 50 strength doesn't give you that 10% increase to, to, your, to your basic attacks. So if I could have a full intelligence blunderbuss, I would prefer to have that. That way I have the full damage with the, with the fire staff and I will have a pretty good amount of damage with the blunderbuss all you sacrificing by putting 50 strength over here it's like getting 20 damage with the blunderbuss 
and losing losing like 25 i, I mean 15 damage with a fire staff but if you go full intelligence then you have full damage with a fire staff and full damage with a blunderbuss once again you will be missing a little bit but it's not a big deal you have plenty plenty damage uh to work with that and uh, that's about it boys now i'm going to show you some clips i'm gonna talk over it so i can show you guys exactly the way i do it and, uh... okay so we're gonna be burning this guy right here with a flamethrower applying pressure right i noticed i had the net shot ready and i also noticed that immediately he runs out of stamina so exactly that's exactly what i do right there i hit him with a blast shot because that is the end goal right focus the healers if you notice they run out of stamina then go ahead and finish them off with a blast shot and whenever you're fighting somebody that is not a healer or is not a squishy target if it has uh, somebody with like a gravity well something then save your your net shot to get away from those gravity wells or any dirty situation you might be in all right here we are fighting against this uh void gauntlet guy uh as you see i'm taking a little bit of distance you gotta be very careful with those void blades guys just don't don't get hit all right it's better for you to run rather than to get hit with a, with a Void, but you you see that I'm using the net shot right there, getting a little bit of distance. I know I can beat this guy even with the health that I have because I had the blast shot and everything ready to go. But as you guys can see, he used the ice block right there, and he went and used his defensive ability. Now I see the healer, though. I'm focusing the healer right here. I noticed that he's running away with a little bit low stamina, so I used the net shot on him. I noticed that he's very low on stamina. He used all his stamina, so it's when I hit him with that shrapnel blast. And, and I finish him off right there after the, the blast shot, as you guys can see. Now, on 1v2 in this guy, this is an ice gauntlet and spear, sword, and shield. This is going to be very hard for me. I was I was trying to use the net shot right there, but I got caught by the ice shower, and I was not able to make it. Uh, but I think we're going to go against the same guys again. This is the same round. I mean, the same arena, just uh, the, the, the next round. Again, we're going to start with that fireball, sending it out there. We, we we see the healer, we immediately use the net shot and we start going for him. We notice that he used that, you know, flash evade and he's running away too much. Almost impossible for us to catch the healer as you can see right there. And uh, we keep on popping that flamethrower, trying to do a little bit of damage and still applying the pressure. We use the net shot, right? We immediately see, we immediately see that repose. And since we know the timer for the repose, we send the blast shot the moment that the repose goes down, pushing the healer against the wall and finish the healer off. Now I'm once again this against the same two guys I was uh, battling previously, the Void Gauntlet and the Sword and Shield Spear. I'm trying to keep a distance between both of them, but at the same time keep myself close enough so I can burn them with the flamethrower. And that's why I always like to dodge, always like to dodge between, between the enemies, uh, create a little bit of chaos right there finding an opening to land those blast shot with a combination of the shrapnel blast do a little bit of damage you don't always have to use it to finish off the enemy if you can use it to do a pretty good amount of damage then you just go ahead and send it um all right we're still battling over here i see this here guy he overextends a little bit and we finish him off with that net chop and basic attack combination that combination is very strong boys because you use the net shot the enemy slowed down so that basic attack is going to be rather easy for you to hit i saw the enemy was turning around right there so i knew he was about to do something and it was a scream so i evaded it now i find another opening to come in with a uh, the blast shot shrapnel blast and keep on with the with the pressure of the flamethrower flamethrower and fireball guys uh, here we are once again sending the fireball at the beginning trying to connect that trying to connect that net shot on their on their on one of their guys in this case it was a guy with a, i think he's a bow spear yeah exactly you know one of those squishy guys uh we keep applying the pressure we find now another bow rapier user we see that he uses the flesh and he avoided the net shot so we're gonna forget about that guy right he avoided the net shot so we're going to forget about that guy and uh we're gonna switch targets here we have the spear bow again i'm using the burn now through every single one of the enemies getting that efficient burn now increase damage avoiding the attacks and keep on focusing on that one target finishing the one guy off i find an opening i use the shrapnel blast i was hoping i was hoping to get the guy with the bow but it looks like he switched weapons in the middle of the air and he was not able to land the ground once again, closing in with him, staying away from the Great Axe Warhammer guy, sending the fireball in there and finishing off, finishing off that guy and staying on the 1v1 against this guy. Please don't mind uh, that random guy. He, he was in my team and um, 
Sorry. <laughs> and, and I was uh, I was 1v3 in this guy and he got really excited. But that's basically it, boys. Uh, I show you guys how to apply the, you know, the split pressure. How to... How to... How to find the openings and how to finish the enemies. And, and that's basically it. I, I hope I hope that you guys enjoy the video. And I hope that I see you guys out there. Oh my god. Alright, you guys have a good one and um cheers boys. Oh nice hit. He's on your left. He's over here by us. I'm pinging him, I'm pinging him.